Hey guys, in this video, we're going to cover about how you can bulk import data into your Microsoft Dynamics 365. And we're going to be using Customer Insights Journey as an example. And also, we're going to focus on the contacts section. And the reason why I say that, because leads, accounts, and other audience section has actually the same process on how to import bulk data. So let's jump back to the contact section in here. You should, say, well, you should able to see all the contacts. If not, just simply click the drop down arrow there. And instead of using, because normally the, the the default will be my active contacts, so just select all contacts. And you can either like reset the view if you don't like to be active contacts, or let's say all contacts, and you want that all contacts to be a default view, just simply click on set as default view. Now, there are, so before you import the, the data, you need to know the format first um, for in order for the dynamics to accept your um, file so um to do that you can either you so there's three types for you to import that there's three ways for you to import the template you can either just select any of this view here let's say i wanted to see my all active contacts and i want to import because i want to overwrite and update a few things you can just click on like that view and then click on export excel okay and there's also other way using the Excel template. So in the Excel template, um, it depends on what currently or existing template you have. But if in the Dynamics 365, there's already a default templates that you can pick. So let's say I'm going to download a template and you will be asked what you know identity it, it is. So for example, you select form. So let's just open this one that we just downloaded there. Okay, so this is like all the my contacts. You can see the view here is for full name, first name, middle name, last name, email, and company. So that's the view for the first template, for the first template. Now let's try to go in with this template. Let's say I'm gonna select form. So normally these are like the people who submitted our form. Oh, here. Where are you? So let's say form. And then I wanted to just download the active marketing forms and then download you'll see that the columns in here is a bit different so there's a name form and created on and obviously we don't want to do that we don't want to like have an empty like you know empty full name empty email address so it's just really a matter of templates um, that you wanted to pick as your reference when you are importing data so in this case we're just going to use the um you know export to excel but if you don't want because if you just want if you export the file it will gonna also download all the contacts that you selected in in this view. So, unless you are overriding or you are updating an individual contacts, that's the best practices. But if you're adding a new contacts, I would suggest that you just click one um, individual contact and you click the three dots and click on the export template. So, within that case, you'll only be getting one record. So, full name because the only important really is the um, header in here. So full name, last name, middle name, email, company, and business name. Now, what if you want to also add more columns? Because there's a lot of existing tables actually that is hidden in this view. And if you want, so let's say I wanted to also import the other headers or other um, table headers. So you just need to click the edit columns. And let's say I want to also um, add the status that one and close and apply so status is already added you can add as many of as columns as you can and then every time you import it so I'm gonna click at least one I don't want to select a lot of you know contacts so at least one and then click on export In this Excel file you see there is a mar marital status so yeah um, if you want to you know fill in the data as much as possible it's the best practices also to do that um, especially if, if it can help you to identify if this contact is a worth you know effort to spend for um, to your sales department so anyway so once you already have that template I'm gonna open this and let's say I will add um, here so let's say Danny or Danny Smith, Danny Smith at example.com and company is just uh, just gonna leave it empty business number is just gonna leave it empty but obviously um, yeah you can add data there so let's say I want 
test one. Let's just call that test one. Put it back to the download section. And then once you're ready, fill that out. This is also so um, helpful when you do the cleaning of your data. You can do a look up there. So anyway, once you're ready, fill out your template, you can then start importing that. So click on the import and also make sure as well that you select the right format. So if you download the the Excel version, you select the SML. But if you download the CSV, you should select the CSV. Otherwise, it won't run. So let's say I'm going to click on import this Excel. You can, okay, hold on. Let's just refresh that. I don't know what's happened. Let's just, okay. So three dots, you import from Excel, you put in the test, and then you can change the, you know, if you don't want to be the owner. That's also fine. I forgot what did I put here. Anyway, let's just really select random user there and then click on next. And then in that area, in the next stage, Dynamics is going to ask you to map out your fields. So in the Dynamics 365, the fields, there's already a lot of existing fields, but if you don't, if you want to add more tailored or custom fields, then um, that's a separate video. Let me know if you want me to create a separate video for that. All right, it's it takes a bit long than I expected, but yeah, second option will be, they're gonna ask you if you're gonna allow duplicates or just update or overwrite the duplicates. And then before you do the finish import, you also have an options to review the mapping. Actually, Dynamics 365 already auto like map it for you. Sometimes if they cannot see it, you can also like like manually select the correct like fields you want to map, or you just can simply just not map or ignore it. Now with the company look up if the company is not existing, yeah, you can just re just just select this as a default to make it safe. Um, and then click on finished reports. And then you can track the progress if you so if the data is a big, obviously it may take time for you to process it. And if you are curious where you can find that, you click this down here, you can actually find this option underneath. So you can simply just click on the advanced settings and then go to the data management under the system section and then go to the imports. Yeah, I believe in the import section. Yeah, so imports, here are the imports that I have done so far. You, if you want to see if you have the enough permission, you should able to see all the imports as well. And obviously, if you want to delete the, if you want to make things cleaner, you can also delete that, um, that import. And but you don't have an historical data if you delete that. So other thing as well that you can do. Let me just cancel that for now. So other thing also you can do is you can straightly import data if you don't want the option that like. Remember, I told you there's another way for you to import contacts in bulk as well. If you don't want the the other way that I I just um, I just shared with you, you can also use the data import option. And yeah, if you have any question, let me know. Comment down below. I'm gonna also put a link description. Um, if I have something I want to add up in my article version. If you need help as well, then feel free to reach me out. Have a great day.